school principal. Um, so this year we've implemented a new program called the uh, um, Student Professional Development Days. We have teacher professional development in the afternoon, so we came up with this new idea to have student professional development uh, in the mornings. Students are able to choose either three hour classes or three one hour classes. And these classes, you know, students are learning some things that they wouldn't learn in the, in the regular uh, curriculum. They're learning things like some Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, tennis lessons, some landscaping stuff, owning a car. So there's a lot of good things that, that students are learning. Browsing Twitter, we saw another school that was doing this in Missouri. I shared it with some of the teachers and they, they started thinking it would be a pretty, pretty neat idea. Gain traction and gain some momentum and, and some energy and so we decided to go with it. I basically just told teachers, you know, choose something that you are passionate about, something that you think our kids aren't necessarily getting in today's uh, education system that they need to learn before they uh, go into the real world, apply for a job and things like that. Teachers thought long and hard about what they what they could provide and, and the type of education that they could provide. And I think it's been a good thing so far. I've gotten some really good feedback from most students and teachers and um, it's something that we want to continue and, and we want to improve it. We're doing small landscaping projects around the school. There are little, little areas that just don't look very good and it doesn't take a whole lot of work to fix them up. And it'll teach some students some skills of things they may want to do around their house someday. What's your favorite part about these new student professional development days? Um, I like the fact that students are learning something that they can use throughout life that they might not learn in a classroom practical things that are really handy to know can save them a lot of money in the future and can make them more proud of their house or whatever First else. First one, the students wrote letters to uh, some of the former Fisher High School students who are serving our country in military and we also sent them a box of goodies and for the next one on November 9th, uh, students are going to be writing letters to patients at St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital. What is your favorite part about these new Student Professional Development Days? I think the, uh, the best part is that we as teachers get to interact with students in a, in a little different setting than, than the traditional classroom and subject kind of stuff. Uh, I call it automotive survival. Um, it is, uh, and basically we talk about uh, the things that go into owning a vehicle. So um, a lot of the students here obviously getting their driver's licenses, and uh, I felt like it was important to include some of the practical things that go with having a car, not just how to operate the thing. So. What's the favorite part about the new dismissal days? Um, well, I do like that it's a short day, um, and I also like that there is uh, minimal grading to do at the end of it, so those are probably my two favorite parts of the day. Um, I also really enjoy sharing, having the opportunity to share uh, you know, some of those basic skills, I think it's important um, and maybe the only opportunity for a lot of kids to pick up on something. Hello, my name is Matt Vogel and I teach business computers here at Fisher High School. What is the subject you chose for the Student Professional Development Days? Ms. Hayes and myself decided to do a job interview. Why did you choose this subject? We felt that it was best for students to kind of get into a real world application and something they can use in future job interviews. And so it's a fantastic way to, again, expose them to things that they might not normally be used to in a normal everyday class. What's your subject for the Student Professional Development Days and why'd you choose it? Motivational murals. So we're painting um, motivational quotes on the bathroom stall doors. I picked it because I think that kindness is important and I think that in general we need to be more positive. So I'm trying to help students promote that. What's your favorite part about these new Student Professional Development Days? Um, I think it's a really great opportunity for the students to get to see um, some areas that they may not get to see in their daily um, education, and I think it's really nice for the teachers to get to see a difference. I'm teaching uh, tennis, an introduction to tennis. Uh, tennis has always been a hobby of mine. It's a sport I played in high school. It's also um, something I've done professionally. I've been a tennis instructor um, in previous summers. What's your favorite part about the new 11.30 dismissal days? Well, I'll tell you, Grace, it really, uh, I think it gives our kids a great opportunity to kind of explore some different things, some hobbies that they might be interested in, as well as um, some key life skills that we don't often get to do within the classroom. So I think it's a really good opportunity for them. It's a good opportunity for us as faculty to interact with our students.